Hello and welcome to another Reaper blog tutorial. Today I'll show you my custom web remote layout that I use for actions, particularly showing and hiding tracks. So I'm going to assume that you already know and I'm going to skip how to set up the web remote connection. I've already done this in two different videos uh, in the past couple months. So I'm not going to repeat myself. This will already be a pretty long video. So let's just jump into it. So right now I have it set on show all tracks but I can easily change this to only selected tracks. So let's say I take these and shift click and then tap this show only select tracks. You can also show only tracks that are used at a particular time position. So I wanna know what's happening somewhere between chorus one and verse two. I can show only tracks that are being used at this time. I can also do it. So what's happening between chorus two and uh, the bridge. So I can make a time selection, show only used tracks at time selection, and it shows those tracks. Then I have some basic groups. So this, uh, so these are actions that look for tracks named a particular name, and then shows only those tracks. So only my vocal tracks, only my bass track, only my drum tracks, only my guitar tracks, my keyboard tracks, and I know I don't have any effects, bus, or VCA. But the point is that all these things are now um, on an external device where I can have quick access to this stuff. And it doesn't have to only be these actions. I can put any action or custom action or cycle action that Reaper can do onto my phone. Any sort of external device with a web browser can trigger actions in Reaper. I think that's amazing. And it wasn't that difficult to set up. The first hurdle was getting all the actions figured out. Some things didn't exist already. So showing only tracks used at current position was something I had to figure out. So I edit, show all tracks, select all tracks, SWS action, select items under edit cursor on selected tracks, uh, custom script from Xframe, select only tracks of selected items, and then another custom action show only selected tracks in scroll to view. So I have custom actions inside of custom actions, but all you really need to make this work is this command ID. So uh, command ID is a unique ID for every action that's in Reaper, whether it's a SWS action, the native actions, or custom action IDs. Then we need some HTML to get this working on the phone. So I was lucky enough to get a template for actions from Michael Clear. This is the actions template that he gave me. And he gave me permission to share this with you guys as well. And this is incredibly basic. This is what his looks like. Just two actions as a example. If we open that up in a plain text editor, I'm using text wrangler, any plain text editor will work. I like this one because it highlights things in different colors depending on their role in the HTML. So this is the template, basic CSS at the top, then there's the JavaScript uh, that makes this work as a web remote and all that stuff's built into Reaper already. So you don't need to worry about that stuff. Uh, and then the actual actions, triggering the actions. So basically when you're editing this, you're just going to like copy these lines. If it's a native action, you're using one like this where it's just the number inside of a bracket. And if you are using a custom action or an SWS action, you just need to put it in a single quote uh, within the brackets. So that's what the template looks like. You would duplicate it and then make your own actions. And so actions.html is mine and I've got that open up here as well. It starts out the same with the exception of changing the color. So I wanted a green color for the text and the borders. So that's this. And I wanted the background black. So I went with that. I also changed the font right here. Basic CSS, you could probably figure this out by just changing some numbers. You can change the size, you can change the border, you can change the padding, uh, which is the space around each element. I was pretty lazy with this stuff. The harder part was definitely building the actions. And this stuff was just kind of tedious, going back and forth between Reaper, getting the command ID, pasting it in, typing in the name, refreshing the uh, web remote page on my phone. So here are the actions. There's the command ID for show all tracks, then show only selected tracks, 
let's add one more. I'd kind of like to have the show all automation or the toggle show all automation in the session. So the action I want here is toggle show all active envelopes for all tracks. I'll just run that to test it. Yeah, that's the one. So take that one, right click, copy selected action ID. I'm gonna go over to my HTML and let's paste this so I don't forget. And I'm going to put this in here, copy, paste. I'll take this number and replace it here native action so I don't need the single quote and underscore and just call this uh, all envelopes just command s to save refresh on my phone an all envelopes button appears if I tap this I get all envelopes so I can show just my drums click on all envelopes and get the automation just for the drum tracks I can hide that automation, show all tracks again. So that's the basic uh, process of making a web control layout like this for actions. Any action you can assign to a web remote layout like this. You could take any of the built-in web remote layouts and modify them for this purpose to add in a couple more buttons or something like that. Or start from scratch and make your own like this. Here's another example of what you can do with uh, web control layout, um, much more advanced in terms of JavaScript and CSS and stuff like that. This is something that we're working on to make available to everyone as a product. This is made by the Web Remote Builder, currently in testing. So what this does is let you take a standard Reaper toolbar and get all of the actions that you need, put it into the right format for Web Remote, assign icons, put it into a grid with custom colors. If you can bulk edit, you can do different tabs. Really, really powerful, incredibly easy to learn. Just a totally awesome little uh, sort of web app. So that's coming out very shortly. We're just doing the final testing now, not needing to go into the HTML to edit, to add one more uh, action, things like that. Just awesome. So that's a little sneak peek of the uh, web remote builder. And that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Join the Facebook group, Reaper Blog Community. Support the Reaper Blog through Patreon. And visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.